Hello everyone and welcome to Kaji's channel. So sa video na to, pag-uusapan naman natin ang basic ng QBO. So kung interested kayong malaman or kung interested kayong matutunan ang basic ng QBO, so isang feature lang yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon, please keep on watching until the end. Do not skip para wala kang mamiss na tips and tricks na i-share ko throughout the video. So without further ado, Let's get started! Kung bago ka lang sa channel na to, I'm Kaji, virtual assistant, executive assistant, bookkeeper, accountant. So kahit anong work, pinapasok ko. Basta online, kasi online work is... Amazing! Sa channel na to, dinidiscuss natin more on online work tips and tricks and mga success stories. So, kung interested ka sa mga topics na yun, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell para wala kang mamiss na video na ina-upload ni Kaji every single week. Okay, so para makapag-create tayo ng account or ng QuickBooks account ng client natin, all we have to do is to click yung add client account. Okay? And then, meron tayo ditong option. So, is it business or individual? So, business, kung meron business si client, or for personal purposes lang yung kanyang kagawing QuickBooks account. So, kung business yan, all we have to do is to enter yung business name, yung email address, yung display name as. So, ito naman, ito yung parang internal lang to. So, wala tong epekto kapag mag export tayo ng report. Okay? So, Parang ito lang yung gusto nating makita dun sa dashboard ng client natin. So, try natin maglagay dito. So, Kaji Keepers Keeping. So, email address is log uh, kaji at gmail.com And then, so, kung gusto mong yung business name at yung display name ay parehas, so okay lang yun. And then, you can add yung mobile number. And, meron tayo dito add more information. Pag clinic mo yan, pwede mong ilagay dyan yung first name ng client mo, yung last name, phone number, website, kung meron, and then yung billing address. Okay? And then, kung may shipping address, kung same as billing, pwede mo itong i-click. Pero kung hindi, tanggalin mo yung click and i-enter mo dyan yung kanilang address. Okay? And then, pag nag-scroll down tayo, meron tayo dito ng product. So, anong klase ng subscription yung pipiliin mo? Dito muna tayo sa subscription. Sa subscription, meron tayong tinatawag na wholesale at saka direct discount. Okay? Pag wholesale, ibig sabihin ang magbabayad ng subscription ng QuickBooks ay ikaw. Okay? As a bookkeeper. Pero, kapag sinabi naman natin direct discount, si client mo yung magbabayad ng subscription, okay? So, every time na mag-renew yung subscription niya monthly, kung naka-direct discount yan, si client yung sasanda ng invoice ni QuickBooks. Pero kung sa'yo, ikaw yung magbabayad niyan, okay? So, meron tayo dito ng tatlong option. Meron tayong plus, essentials, and simple start. Kapag simple start, Ideal to sa mga small businesses, okay? So, uh, kung gusto lang nila mag-create ng invoices, ng estimate, and mag-record ng expenses. Kapag essentials naman, so, pwede ito sa mga client na medyo malaki-laki yung business, and then, gumagamit sila ng online banking, sasan sila ng invoice, magpipay ng bills, and merong multiple users, okay? Plus naman is ito yung pinaka-popular sa lahat, so, mas okay to, lalo na dun sa mga kliyente mo na merong inventory, okay? And kung gusto rin nila yung may mga tracking, halimbawa yung may multiple projects na gusto nilang i-track, so pwede itong plus para sa kanila, okay? So, pipili ka lang kung ano, and isa-save mo yan, okay? Kung makikita nyo, iba yung uh, presyo kapag wholesale discount at saka direct discount. Tingnan nyo ha. Let's say yung plus, kapag full sale, 22 lang siya. Pero kapag direct, 30 siya. Kasi, yung 22 is may discount ka as a uh, subscriber dito sa QuickBooks. Okay? So, meron kang discount sa kanila. 
na makukuha. Ayan. So, kung ikaw ay, ikaw, kung ikaw ang magbabayad ng, uh, ng subscription ng client mo, pwede mong i-charge sa kanya yung total na 30 or yung 44. It's up to you. So, pwede mo siya maging extra income din. Kapag nakaselect ka na, all you have to do is to save And, ayan, sabi niya, save without a subscription. So, you you have the option to go back and to save the client. Okay? Ayan. So, ngayon, meron na tayong isang client. Siya si Kaji Keepers Keeping Den. So, this is just an example. Okay? So, pwede mo rin siyang i-edit kung gusto mo. Ayan. So, ayan. Pwede mo ulit siyang i-edit. And, ayan. Do you want to live without saving? Yes. Ayan. So, kung gusto mo mag-add, so, ganun ulit yung gagawin mo. Add client dito. And, i-follow mo ulit yung process na ginawa natin kanina. Okay? Ayan. So, for example, itong account na to ay gusto mong i-edit. Gagawin natin ngayon is pipili tayo ng subscription. Okay? So, for example, itong kukunin natin is yung popular. Make me the primary admin. Kapag primary admin, check natin ha. Kapag primary admin, ikaw yung magiging owner and primary contact para dun sa company. So, kung gusto mong ikaw, then pwede mong i-click yan. Pero kung si, si client ang magbabayad ng subscription, then si, i-tanggalin mo yung click para ma-receive ni client mo yung kanyang billing. Okay? And then, i-save natin. Ayan. Kapag nag-select ka na ng subscription, you have to enter na yung payment information ng client mo. Okay? Ayan. So, kailangan yung card number, yung expiration, yung date, yung month, yung CVV number na nasa likod ng card, and yung name sa card. Ayan. So, may billing address din yan, kailangan, and company information. And then, click mo lang yung subscribe. Okay? So, ngayon, sabihin natin na subscription. Okay. Save. Ayan. So, ganun lang tayo gagawa ng, or ganun lang tayo mag a ng client sa QuickBooks Online. So, sana marami kayong natutunan sa video na to. And kung meron kayong clarification, just let me know sa comment section and Kaji will try to answer that as soon as I can. Or kung mahirap i-explain sa comment, I'll try to make another video to explain everything. So, that's all for today and I hope to see you sa next video ko. Bye!